Good afternoon, my name is Kim Smith and I teach at American Renaissance School in Statesville, North Carolina. I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about home base and how I use that in my classroom. Um, probably one of the biggest ways that I use home base in my classroom is to assess students, whether that's a pre-test or a post-test. I enjoy using it in math specifically because of the large test bank. I'm able to locate items in the test bank that could totally be a skills-based question versus um, a higher Bloom's taxonomy question that involves a lot of reasoning. I also like to use the um, assessment part um, in the classroom because it gives me immediate feedback on my test. Um, this is valuable, extremely valuable information. It gives me an opportunity to re reflect on my teaching immediately. It also gives me an opportunity to um, look at specific test questions like an item analysis to let me know exactly where my student, what my students were weak in, what they were strong in, and it gives me that opportunity to go back and reflect on, on, on my teaching, basically which also offers me, rather than having to spend time grading the papers and such, it offers me an opportunity to spend my energies in other ways, such as um, looking for research-based strategies to address the needs that the data has shown me. When I get my assessment data back, it pretty much already groups them. It groups the students based on strengths and weaknesses as far well as an overall test score. So I kind of know a green group, they're good to go, they're on grade level or above blue group as, as well. And then when you get into your red, orange, and yellow groups, those are the groups that you, you might need to spend the, that time with. Once I've recognized the weaknesses that I have in my classroom, I can go into my materials on home base and I'm able to locate materials that can help me with those groups. Um, one of the mo my most important reasons for using home base in my classroom obviously is student base and it has to do with my students. I enjoy using home base because not only am I able to see the immediate feedback, but so are my students. The students are always so anxious to know how well they performed on an assessment immediately after they take it. In my classroom, the students actually complete their paper and pencil test, and then they go in themselves into their home base account and they key in their answers. And students are able to get their immediate test score back and they can go from there to see exactly what they missed. Um, I have a student with me today who will be talking to you about how she enjoys using home base. Hi, I'm Molly Smith, and I'm in the fifth grade at American Renaissance School. And I'm here today to talk about home base. We use home base for different reasons, but mostly we use it for um, king and test and getting it graded. We go back in our test and mark the ones we got wrong, and then we do test corrections with them. Now, Molly, after you've taken your test and you've um, seen the ones that you've missed and you made your corrections. Um, what else is it about home base that you really like? I like going back if I have a final exam or a Neo G that's coming up. I like to go back in my in my review part of home base and look at the questions I've gotten wrong or the test that I don't feel confident about. So. so the tests that you've already taken are still in your home base account and you can review that? Yes. Okay. Now at your school, um, are your science tests given like that? Yes, because okay. mm -hmm. my science teacher believes that our EOGs will be on computer so we need to practice. Good. Molly, thanks for your time today.